Hey, and in case you guys didn't know, our videos are pretty much real time. So today, September 5th, and we are in Mooresville, North Carolina. The boat's tied up in Wilmington, North Carolina, which if you look at the map, is very close to the coast. Wilmington is about 25 miles up the Cape Fear River from the coast of North Carolina. And it looks like Dorian is gonna make a very close call, if not like a direct hit, right in that uh, Cape Fear area later on today and into tonight. Our boat is all stripped down and tied up in a marina. Uh, at this recording, we obviously don't know how things are going to turn out for clarity. Hopefully she comes through unscathed. But even if we lost the boat, it, it really doesn't compare in any way to what's happened in the Abacos. So our hearts are with the Bahamians and we cannot believe the level of destruction. We were just there. It is just so, so sad. Uh, we know that there are several sailing channels out there that are organizing some donation sort of things. Um, we're not gonna pick a particular donation outlet or nonprofit, but we would very much encourage you to donate where you can uh, to the place that you think uh, makes the most sense. This area is gonna be recovering for probably years. Uh, most of the Abacos and Grand Bahama just absolutely leveled by Dorian. Uh, today's video uh, is going to be a little bit of a hodgepodge. Uh, we've been doing a lot of boat projects recently so it's not going to be maybe quite as organized as some of our previous videos but we're going to give you a, a taste of the slice of life that we've been living for the last couple of weeks and talk about some of those projects. Uh, apologies if it's a little disorganized but We've had our uh, hands full just a bit here the last few days. Anyway, enjoy the video. As always, we really appreciate your feedback. Your comments mean the world to us. Your comments motivate the type of videos that we do. And um, So thank you for watching yeah. and, and sharing and contributing your voice. Yeah, appreciate and it. Thanks for all the good vibes, not just for us, but for uh, everybody else who's really suffered a lot with this storm. Hey, you're a sculptor. <laughs> well, I'm kind of impressed. What I think is really amazing about this transformation is we really didn't extend the cushions that much. I think it's about three more inches in most cases extending it out, but the comfort and just how supported you feel is like dramatically different. But first I want to tell you about the fabric we chose. It's called Krypton and it's extremely soft and durable and stain resistant. Oh no, I got soy sauce on the new cushion. What? Wait, wait. This is terrible news. Uh, and ketchup, ketchup too. Ketchup too? And uh, there's a highlighter. <coughs> Were you highlighting your books again? You're pissing off the dog. Okay, wait, wait, don't panic. <coughs> don't panic. <coughs> Wipe away the excess. Oh, look at that. Look at that, with a dry cloth. <laughs> I mean, look at this, okay? We just, we just wipe it away, okay? Oh, it's, oh, that's a big mess, actually. Megan, you made a huge mess. What's okay, going okay, on here? don't, don't fret. Now I'm gonna put some of this on here. What is that? This is a stain remover. Okay. Any old stain remover? No, this is Krypton stain remover. Krypton stain remover, folks. Okay, now I'm gonna blot it. You don't have to use their special cleaner. You just have to use an enzyme-related detergent mixed with water. I don't know whose idea it was. It was probably my idea. No, it was your idea? To do what? To do a footprint template. Well, it depends on if it was a good idea, whose idea it was. Oh, so we don't know yet whose idea it was. We don't know if it's a good idea. If it turns out to be a good idea, then it's your idea. Then it was mine. If it turns out to be a bad idea? It's your idea. Ah, I get it. It's all making sense now. You got it? So we're making a template. After we make the template, we are going to cut the foam. We're going to use the foam as a template for the fabric. 
So in addition to making larger foam, we have to make larger wood bases that go inside the actual cushion. Yeah, you got uh, a lot of badunkadunk dunk, and you got to make sure you got support for all that junk. Okay, I'm getting ready to sew one of 12 cushions, I think, and wanted to share with you how I'm going to do it. Okay, so we have reached the next level in sugar accommodation. She has graduated to a wheelchair, so to speak. The Sugar Chariot, $65 worth of Walmart mobility. <laughs> oh my God, that thing is cool. Oh, Sugar to Gushy. You get to go to the park. Yeah, hi pal. Look, it's a sugar wagon. What do you think, pal? Where should we go? With our newfound mobility. Wow, this is janky. Does that thing extend? I think it does. Do, 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 do. The queen has arrived. Like a lot of things, we ask ourselves, why did that take us so long to do? So this is definitely one of them. But hey, at least we did it. You find some more birds? He's talking to you. This is next level, everybody. Sugar now rides around in a chariot. Caulk, a craftsman's best friend. It's gonna take a couple days to dry, so we need to not bump it. Progress is slow, but consistent in converting this shower, one of four showers, into shelving, into storage. And unlike a house where everything is at pretty close to right angles and if you gouge something or kind of ding it up, you can probably get some joint compound in there and fair it up and paint it over. No such luck in the world of fiberglass and boats where every corner is at a different angle, all sorts of different curves. And one little slip of your knife and you scratch the fiberglass and you have just caused yourself a world of pain. So one of the last things to do before I get to uh, mounting these shelves in here and the electrical and plumbing is to remove this piece of plexiglass part of the shower door. And it has taken me a long, long time because I don't want to break anything while I'm removing it. So patience is the key. I've gone too fast in the past and you just create more work for yourself in the end. But slow, steady progress and lots of coffee. Where's my coffee? Oh yes, my precious, my precious. So there's an old saying in the yacht maintenance world, have a good hairdo and have a good attitude and you get anything done. Now, the saying is that with any boat project, you're one stripped bolt from going uh, from a 30 minute project to a three day project. And with this bathroom remodel, this has been my stripped bolt. This piece of plexiglass is part of the shower that we're converting to storage. And I honestly thought that this would be a matter of scoring the caulking with a razor knife and pulling the thing out in maybe 20 or 30 minutes. It took me half of day before yesterday, almost all of yesterday, and then a good hour this morning to remove this piece of plexiglass. Many trips to the hardware store. I broke all of my razor knives, so I had to go back to the hardware store to buy new ones. And in the end, I had to use a solvent to dissolve some of the caulk behind it. Not a lot of right angles here. Gotta make everything fit how it fits. So I built this platform to 
put the washer on so we can put some storage underneath and right now I am getting into the nitty gritty. This is the plumbing side of things. This is where we make it all go. So we're gonna run the fresh water in and then we've got the discharge out that we're going to put into the uh, sink drain so that it just drains overboard. And then electrically, we're adding some, we're adding some outlets. I'm adding two outlets. Um, a single outlet is going to power the washer, and then I'm going to put another outlet right here that we can run our extra cooler with, or extra refrigerator with, and then charge up our vacuum, our vacuums. Uh, we got two little handheld vacuums that have been banging around the berths for quite some time. They still work. They still work. Uh, you might be asking yourself, why do we not have GFI outlets? There's water around, um, and you definitely want to have circuit protection for grounding so that you don't shock somebody. Well, I'm going to use regular outlets in both spots. And the reason I'm going to do that is because the circuit that we're going to tap into is already GFI protected. So adding two GFI outlets in line doesn't really make any sense because you're already protected. So that's why we're going to do that. But this is the nitty gritty. And we've got the paint drying outside for the shelving. The shelving is going to go where the shower used to be. So we're going to have storage, and we're going to have our washer out of the way. This is going to be a nice little utility room. Wow. Good job. Are you impressed? I am so impressed. Well, I impressed Megan, so that's the I'm most excited. important thing. I'm excited. My toilet was all f***ed up, and it was a uh, hair tie. I'm so sorry. Can you forgive me? Reparando para los hurricanos, which was actually a really good excuse because all of this stuff had gotten so dirty from the construction zone. We've got master cleaner here. Spray a lot of dirt away. It's not just dirt, it's like oil. I think from these machines and stuff. It's like sticky. Well, the stuff had to be cleaned anyway, but we're taking it down to prep for Hurricane Dorian. It's definitely not a sure thing for the Wilmington area, but it's going to be close enough that we're in a better safe than sorry situation. So we're stripping the boat down, taking all the canvas off of the helm and cockpit area. We're taking down the jib. Uh, may take the mainsail off too, um, but as I'm doing it, I'm taking the opportunity to clean everything up. And the storm clouds gather. Dorian. We're not exactly sure where Dorian's gonna go, but we're not gonna stick around to find out. We're headed into Charlotte, where my brother lives, and uh, we'll enjoy some pool time, hot tub, maybe fly Gus's new airplane. That would be pretty fun. But uh, yeah, a lot of work in stripping the boat down. Took the mainsail off, we gathered up all the lines, took all the canvas down. What else did we do? Took all of our important stuff out so we won't be searching for papers that are all wet if the boat sinks. But uh, we've done all we can do and hopefully the storm track remains far enough offshore that we don't see all that much. I wouldn't be at all surprised though if we got 100 mile per hour winds, at least for a little while here. And that's enough to do some damage. Well, you did awesome. You did too. Good job.
I don't care what you said about me on YouTube. I don't care if you left me a bad review. I don't care if you gave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It really don't matter cause I got your view. I never said you would like everything that I had to show. <laughs> I got no other lines in this old show tune. I don't care if you like my little dumb song. I don't know any words that rhyme with song. 